Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen. I'd like to talk to you about resources that you can have that I feel are very reliable when we're talking about functional neurology, about post-traumatic brain injuries, post-traumatic stress disorder, mild traumatic brain injuries, or concussions. These are some of the doctors that I've studied from, and I think that their information and content is very, very helpful. The first doctor's name that I'd like to reference is Dr. Carrick. Professor Carrick and the Carrick Institute of Neurology. The Carrick Institute you can find online readily, and Professor Carrick is a phenomenal neurologist who has a research clinic in Atlanta, Georgia, as well as at Harvard, and his ability to pull information, extract information from a functional perspective of not just seeing where there's a breakdown in brain output or neurologic output, but understanding how that could potentially be corrected when it's not something associated with a permanent disease like a tumor that needs to be corrected otherwise. The next physician I'd like to talk to you about is Dr. David Perlmutter. Dr. Perlmutter, you can find as a medical neurologist in Naples, Florida. Dr. Perlmutter has studied extensively brain demise, and specifically neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's disease, and dementia. His information can be found at brainrecovery.com. And Dr. Perlmutter's information I've studied for years because his approach is so, again, practical and functional. One of my favorite researchers right now is Dr. Brandon Brock. And Dr. Brock works with Professor Carrick. He has a clinic in Dallas, Texas, and his ability to teach is phenomenal. He's a great reference for concussion information, for uh, post-traumatic stress disorders, post-bomb blast injuries. I highly recommend Dr. Brandon Brock as a resource of information to be able to understand what you may be dealing with and the applications for healing. The final resource that I talk about today is Professor Harsh. Professor Harsh, or Dr. Harsh, is in, at LSU. He's a, also a researching medical physician whose primary focus right now is hyperbaric oxygen therapy. He has a book called Oxygen Revolution, and the Oxygen Revolution talks about many of his cases and case studies showing pre and post scans, spec scans of the brain and the benefits of oxygenation immediately after an injury and even years of people who've had or sustained hypoxic injury to the brain or dive injuries from uh, hypoxia to the brain, autism, as well as uh, post-traumatic stress disorders and traumatic brain injuries. Oxygen Revolution is the name of his book and a great reference, I believe, for anyone looking for additional information. What we're finding is more and more professional athletes are utilizing hyperbaric oxygen therapy as a means of rapid recovery. It's also a great way to recover from altitude sickness. So if someone's visiting us here in Utah who's coming from say Florida or uh, California, and they've come to ski, they may experience a drop in the oxygenation of their blood because of the altitude. And hyperbaric oxygen therapy is one of the greatest things that they can utilize for correcting altitude sickness. I hope these are helps as references to you. Again, I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen. Please look up these physicians. I think that their research is valuable and pertinent and worth your time. These are the references that we use for our clinical pearls as well as our clinical uh, protocols to be able to help people who've sustained head injuries. Have a great day.